What's up guys, Plum Ninja here, and welcome back to Bloodborne Chalice Dungeons. So, um, honestly today is going to be uh, a Root Chalice Dungeon, so I'm actually going to be recording two videos today. One is going to be the Root Chalice Dungeon, which as I said, I will still record, and I will only post if I find something interesting. And the second one is going to be the regular Chalice Dungeons, the regular um, Thumerian Chalice Dungeon. And um, I will be posting that up. So let's go ahead and take care of the. Uh, let's see, was it the central? Yeah, central with the marrow uh, root root chalice dungeon. Okay, so let's see if we have everything. Okay, so um, we have all the basic materials, which is fine. But as you see on the right materials, uh, I think those are optional. Uh, and I, if I remember correctly, hold on. Uh, we need two, and I only have one. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, these are optional, and I think that they changed the, the, uh, Chalice Dungeon, um, by, I believe it's, uh, I don't, I think it's the difficulty, I don't, I don't remember, I'll have to double check. Okay, so let's see if I can find some Sage's Wrist. Uh, it doesn't look like they have it. So, I might just have to do this one without it. Okay. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and just head on in. We can do it without it. Um, I don't think it makes it any... I don't think it makes it any any easier, but I don't think it makes it any harder either. Uh, I think it just... Oh, no, I think it does make it harder, actually. Alright. And so... Let's get started. If you hear any sniffling, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm still trying to get over a cold. Uh, I am really doing the best I can to try to stay on top of these recordings um, because I do. Uh, I have been moving uh, quite a bit lately. Actually, right now I pretty much have bare minimum stuff, and uh, I have to consolidate pretty much everything just to one room. Um, so right now it's just my bed, my TV, and my game systems is all I really have. I have food. I have like food enough for until the end of until like the end of the month and that's pretty much it uh after that i mean i'm pretty much gonna have nothing from here on out okay so let's get started and it doesn't look like we have any i hear that though and it looks like we have a secret door on the on the left all right so let's go ahead and head on in I hear footsteps. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And it's not mine. It sounds like... It sounds like pause. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's big. Okay. Uh, looks like we have a door here. I'm wondering, should we head up or should we head a head in? Let's head up. Find out what all that thumping is. Okay, well it's not heading towards the thumping, it's heading somewhere else. What's this? Blood vials. Oh. oh, one thing is we will find a uh, we will find a store later on in the um, uh, later on in the chalice dungeons. We will find be able to find a little uh, merchant bird bath thing, I guess. Uh, it's with the little the the little um, little store that I've been seeing with the little messengers, the little uh, skeleton guys. We'll see those from time to. We may see those from time to time. The only problem with these uh, stores are is not only are they hard to find, but they're also uh, they also jack up the prices by a lot. I think it's like, I think it's like three times more expensive. So we gotta make sure we uh, we have the money for it. Okay, I thought there was somebody behind that. Okay, let's open this up. So thankful that there's no mimics in this game. Do 
Ooh, big room. Not sure if I like that. We have a big guy down there. We will come back to him later. Looks like this is where that goes. We'll come back to that in a little bit. I'm not sure exactly um, what treasure would be in this in this one. Um, and what I mean by that is like what kind of um, uh, what's it called? Uh, what kind of weapons would be in this root chalice dungeon? I know that you can find out on the wiki, but I don't have that right now. I don't have that up right now. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can find. Uncanny saw spear. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop down on this dude. Oh, cool. Alright, so we're pretty much back at the beginning. Um, I want to head back up real quick. Just because I think there was another room. See, we went down... Okay, no, I was wrong. Okay. Alright, let's get on out of here. Alright, on to the main dungeon. Wrong way. Here it is. Okay. Okay. On to the main dungeon. I still hear something big. There's something thumping around up there, and I have a feeling I missed it. I guess I could come back to that later. Alright. I already wasted enough time in that in that room, so let's go ahead and just get moving. So I think this is a three layer. I think. Crap, that did a lot of damage. I didn't think that was a, uh, I didn't think that was a cannon. But okay. That hurt a lot, holy crap. <laughs> Ooh, blood vial. Oh, how did I miss that? Nothing there. There's gotta be something in here. Yep. Level 2 Ritual Blood. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Okay. Oh, so I was looking up, um... I was, I was looking up some interesting things we may find. I'm actually on the lookout for a couple of things in these uh, chalice dungeons. Like, for instance, there is a particular bell that I'm looking for. I don't know. Uh, I've been told it's uh, it shows up randomly. Am I on the wrong side? I'm on the wrong side. I've been told it shows up randomly, and um, it has some inter interesting interactions. So where it is, I heard it's not until like later on, but it shows up randomly. It's not in like any partic one particular dungeon or one particular room. Okay, so we have a one-way door here that goes to what looks like that ledge. Yep, goes to that ledge. Okay, cool. Ooh, excuse me. Cannon fire. Oops. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we still... Like I said, we can use these cannons, but it's not really going to do anything for us. Um, 
Uh, uh, like I said, the chances of you actually using it for something are very slim. Uh, it's more for the enemy's use. It's just something you can use or you can interact with. It's just nothing that is going to be of real any, any real use to you. Come on. Alright, so he gave us some quicksilver bullets. Let's go ahead and pull this lever. And pull the lever, Crunk! Alright. On to the boss. That was short and easy. And we are honestly making some pretty... Uh, actually, we're making great time, actually. Alright, on to our first boss. Let's see who it is. Big hallway. Beast Possessed Soul. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Here we go. Uh, I know he's more... I more, I know he's more weak to fire, but... I don't have that equipped right now. There we go. Alright. First boss down, and we're making great time. Let's head on over to the next area. I just like to hit these checkpoints just in case. I don't really see too much of a point on them. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and equip... Where is it? Fire paper. I don't think I have the... Nope, I don't have it. Okay. Uh, well, I have it, but I just don't have the stats for it. Okay. Okay. Layer 2, no secret room so far. Let's go ahead and just get started. Alright, round... Area 2, let's go. Oh man, there goes a the frame rate. <laughs> locked in at 30 FPS, uh, or supposed to be locked at 30 FPS, but uh, doesn't seem doesn't seem to be the case most of the time, especially when uh, shit really starts hitting the fan. I hear that. Okay, so we have a one-way door here. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and destroy that because I don't want that hitting me later. Okay. All right, so looks like we only have one direction to go. Give me your shit. <laughs> Love finding these little guys. Always have some goodies. Gemstones, blood gemstones. Actually, I found some pretty good ones. A lot of these ones are very, uh, that we're picking up from these guys are actually fairly common gemstones or bloodstones, uh, as they're called. Oh, hi.
All right, level two, two mold. Ow. Dick. Oh man, the slimes. Oh god, those things. No, you stay away from me. Alright, so we have a... Ooh, level 3 Ritual Blood. And another... Another Snatcher here. Alright, no other doors. So let's go ahead and just explore, see if we can find our... Our way through. No doors, no doors. Aha! Here we go. This is where we're supposed to go. Ow! Dick. Ow! Ow! Okay. So here's our door out of here. Yeah, that's our door out of here. And from what it sounds like... Is that a secret door or something? We'll find out here in a second. Oh god! Up, uh, we got a naked guy. Like you said, these guys are always fun. I mean that sarcastically and literally. Aha! Yatta bitch! <laughs> Get down! Put the clothes on. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the switch. All right, so we're pretty much done with this area. And we are making really good time, actually. But before we head on back, let's go check out what this door is. I honestly have no idea. Oh boy, it's another secret area. And one big room, okay. Alright, well, nice to know that, um, we're gonna be doing some exploring. It's like we have a, uh, watcher up there. And a witch down there. And that won't reach, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Ooh, really dark room. Don't like it. Dark room with nothing in it, really. And I don't like it. Okay, so like I said, this is the thing about these, uh, these chalice dungeons, or these root chalice dungeons, that they are totally random. Uh, and they, you know, they eventually end up becoming... Literal, you know, elaborate mazes. Eventually, you're just, you know, you're gonna get lost, they're gonna get huge, they're gonna get complex. Level 3 Ritual Blood, and a Bold Hunter's Mark. Okay, what do they have down here?
Wait, hang on. Let me do one more check. I don't want to leave anything behind. Okay. I have a door here. Which leads to, uh... What's this? Ah! Ow! Ow! It looked like a boss door for a second. Yeah, nice try, buddy. <laughs> Give me. Quicksilver bullets, and let's see what our prize is. Okay, so we got a blood gem. Let's see what else we have. Smaller treasures. Two mold level two. Got a big chest over here. Ritual blood level three, which we're gonna need for future. Um, we're gonna need for uh, what's called um, future dungeons. And two ritual uh, level two. <gasps> Excuse me. My bad. How rude of me. All right, downstairs, and we're out here again. Okay, so I want to do two things. I want to take care of this thing. Take care of him. I have a feeling there's more doors up here. Yeah, it looks like there's a. Oh no, that's an elevator. Never mind. Oh god, I'm stuck in the bushes. Alright. Got a couple snatchers here. Always drop an item. Bloodstone shards, which are good upgrade material. Well, early upgrade material. Oh, fuck me, that's loud. <laughs> oh, God. That did some damage. Alright, that looks like it's it down here. Alright, let's go ahead and start looking for the elevator. Alright, so we're about... About... 25 minutes in. Still making decent time. We can honestly just head back, but I want to give this area one quick go around. Quick silver bullets, can never have too many. I think this is where we came in? No. Okay, yeah, that looks like that's it. Okay, let's just head on back. What's that? Oh, that's a witch. Let's go take her down. Shit. That did a lot of damage. Holy hell, that fire does a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, well, all right, so nothing was left behind, it doesn't look like. 
All right, so we had a secret room within the level, so that's something that's uh, not what we find too often in here. I think this is where we go. Yeah, this is it. Yep, okay. Okay. To the boss fight. Yeah, give me a second, folks. I'm honestly doing this in my bedroom today because, like I said, everything else, all my, um, you know, where all my stuff that I used to use to, for recording. Oh boy, we got another secret over here. Well, I suppose we have enough time. Uh, where I usually record is, um, all currently up in my new place right now. Uh. Okay. Wow, that was quick. I don't know if I want to go explore the rest of the area since we found ooh oh wow uncanny threaded cane we found another uncanny item I don't know if I want to go down there though I don't think I'd really have time I'll come back to this later That was a really short one, um, because it was all just straight ahead. I guess they were expecting me to fall off and go explore, and I don't know. Who knows? Man eater boar. Okay, we're gonna find another pig. Come here. I bet your name is Crispy Bacon. help if I didn't miss. Oh boy. Come here. Yeah. Alright, so second boss is down. Sorry I'm not talking as much this time around, you guys. I will come back to that. Wait, hold on. Let me see how much time I have first before we do that, actually. We have half hour. Uh, I guess we'll give it a go. If anything, I'll just speed speed through the other one. Uh, speed through the next area. I think this is a, like I said, I think this is a three layer own, uh, three layer dungeon. I know like some of the later ones become like four and five layers. Okay, might as well head on down. Okay. Item. Ah, man, the rats are getting uglier. Okay. Got an item here.
Doesn't look like it's there. Doesn't look like there's anything in here, so let's go ahead and head on back. Just re oh oh no! This was a bad idea. I hate these things. These guys have insane health. They have insane attack. Oh, I hate these things so much. I hate them. I think pretty much everyone that's ever played Bloodborne hates these things. They're like little blood fleas or something. Well, not little. Giant blood fleas or something. And how they move, like how they move and their look is just so wrong. <laughs> Oh, there's an item over there. All right. <laughs> Man, uh, I keep forgetting about those things. Like, I know that we're going to have to face them later on in the in later dungeons. Um, it's just that, man, I didn't think we'd be facing them this early. Okay, it doesn't look like there's really anything down here. Okay, so this was kind of a waste, but at the same time, we, um, we didn't leave anything untouched or un unexplored. All right, let's just head on up. Let's head on next down to the next dungeon. Yeah, let's see. We have about 25 minutes left, so let's just get moving. At the very least, we um we went in there. We took a look around. Didn't find anything, but well, we found random stuff, but other than that, I mean, nothing was left behind. I don't like to go into those rooms and, like, leave nothing, you know, leave something untouched. All right, so no secret room in the first half, but hopefully, hopefully there isn't one during the level, so. But I've been wrong before. Let's go. Okay, so there's our boss fight. Oh, big open room. Oh, no! Oh, man! Oh, that fire does so much damage. <laughs> All right, well, that's okay. Okay. That is okay. There's our um, blood echoes right there, just sitting in a pile. Now she's down. Come here. All right, he's dead. We got a snatcher. I hear a, I hear a few boars down there. There's at least two. All right, nothing else up here? Okay. So, there's our path. At least it looks like that's the only, uh, the only place. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That hurt. All right, looks like we got another door here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through 
I'm gonna take care of this boar first. Okay, so I'm gonna go through probably the side doors first. If there's any others. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna go through that side door first. I have a feeling that this is the way we need to go, but let's I could be but again, could be wrong. So let's go through here first. I wanna get any exploration out of the way. Oh, I hear something big. I hear dogs. Is that an enemy? Yeah, it is. If you're asking how I saw that, I saw like there was a contrast of colors. I saw a contrast of colors in those um in those bushes. So he kind he kind of stood out a little bit. Okay, so we're on the upper level, so I kind of expected that this would be up here. Okay, let's see what else we got up here. Nothing here. Doesn't look like there's anything here, so if there isn't, I'll just drop down to the lower level. There's a door, okay. There is a door, okay. Oh, hi. Hello! Come here! Oh hey, there's a lever! Yeah, give me a second, man. You'll get yours. Okay, so he's down. Okay, alright, well this guy wants to play hard. Ow! Alright, you want know what? Parry. Let's take him down. Alright, no more parrying, no more fooling around, let's just get this done. Okay. Pull the lever. I'm waiting for, like, seriously, uh, when I was coming through these the first time, I was waiting for, like, the lever to be the wrong one. So that way I can legitly use... WRONG LEVER! Okay, oh god. Woo okay. At least that didn't kill me. What was that? That sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Hey, someone raided my notes. Oh, oh yeah. See, this is what I was talking about. Later on, when you start pulling those levers, you're, you're gonna have to start dealing with these guys. Oh, 
Oh god. They hit so hard and they hit so fast. Oh boy. I didn't think we'd be, like I said, I didn't think we'd start seeing them this early. Ow. Alright, really do not want to be running out of uh, blood vials. I'm going to need those for the boss fights. Oh, Joy, this is a secret area. Okay. Well, let's see. How much time do we honestly have? We have about 18 minutes, so... I need to make this quick. <laughs> Got a... A door here. Oh boy, this place is huge. Okay. I hear laughing. I hear a lot of laughing. Very unsettling laughing. Okay. Oh boy. I want to get away from all this. That's why. Alright, so we got ourselves a blood vial. Nothing here. Level three blood ritual, okay. Oh hey, here's the treasure. So what's on the other side of the bridge? All right, well, let's just hurry up and get this done. Frenzied cold blood, okay, cool. So we got blood echoes. All right, uh, let's just go ahead and go go across a bridge just to get the exploration done and out of the way. Really don't want to be running out of time here, though. Because I already pulled the lever. Let's see how much time we have left. My screen just kind of blacked out for a second. That was weird. hear that and we have about 15 minutes wait no doors here no doors no doors no doors there's a door Anything else here? Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and go across. Doesn't look like there's any ledges up there, okay. Because sometimes there will be like ladders or doorways over here. Thought that was a lever.
Oh boy, these misty areas. Oh, fun, 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 fun. I'm not seeing any other doors, so this doesn't look like it really has any business being here. No doors, no doors, no doors. Okay. And I don't think I'm missing anywhere, so... Alright, well, we have about... We have less than 15 minutes, so let's just go ahead and get started. Let's just go beat the boss. And, um, hopefully that's the last one. I could be wrong. It's like the theme of this, of this, uh, episode. I could be wrong. Where's my ladder? Where's my ladder? Oh god, don't tell me there's no ladder. There's no ladder. There's no ladder! Oh god. <laughs> How am I supposed to get back up? Well, I guess the only way is down. I guess the only way up is down. Okay, sweet. All right, on to the boss. No more wasting time, let's just get going. Pretty quiet after you beat everybody here. Oh. There's corpses all over the place. Mm, grody. All right, now that that's all done, we're good to go. Let's go fight this boss. Please, no secret areas. I really don't have the time for it. Please, I see a light. And there's a door. Hmm. <clears throat> How much time do I have? Because I could honestly probably beat this boss in like five minutes. If that. I only have 12 minutes left. So I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go fight the boss first. And then we're gonna go try to do some exploring. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this is the last boss. Yep, this is the last boss. And here we go. Oh boy. Oh god. being quiet folks it's just damn <laughs> oh man I only got 10 minutes left so we definitely don't have time for that uh, uh we definitely don't have time for that uh that secret room although I'll have to just do that off camera and I'll just explain what I found in the next video Okay, uh, usually I see, whenever I see, now what I say when I see lights is I'm looking for, 
is I'm looking for candles, okay? So you can see them from here. Oops. So you can see them from here. Um before the door was lifted you can see candles okay usually those indicate that there's something there okay uh lights usually like you know usually light the way um sometimes another indicator it's not always accurate um but like for me it seems like it's fairly consistent when it happens uh is that whenever i see these lights on you know this the floor lighted uh like this or room lit like this um usually there's something here uh so whenever i see these candles is whenever I usually whenever I see these candles um, or usually see some kind of lighting like this I can tell that there's a door or something that there's like a secret door okay so I'm enough wasting time let's just try to get this done okay all right let's roll Already off to a fantastic start. Oh god. Alright, can't get greedy, can't get greedy. seen him do that before. Okay. Sweet. How much time do I honestly have? I know I don't have enough time to go through that. Um, yeah, I only have like six minutes left, honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll make my way over there. Uh, one thing you're going to notice in these Chalice Dungeons is we will be seeing a lot of repeated, and, uh, repeated boss fights. And um, what's kind of crazy is some of them are just common. Some of them are just common enemies. I mean, the Watchers, we see them as bosses and common enemies. The Man Eater Boar, we've seen it as common enemies. Uh, and then, like sometimes we'll just see re you know repeats of bosses in um, in these areas. So we'll be seeing that quite a lot. So um, I think the last time I played through these challenge dungeons, I think I fought the um, you know the Watcher, uh, the Watchdog of the Old Lords. I think I fought him like maybe four times. Um, the, I think it was the, uh, the keeper of the old lords. I think I fought like maybe, uh, maybe three times and then the, uh, Thumerian descendant, you like, you'll, you'll face him quite a, quite a bit. Uh, so anyway, I really don't have time to honestly record this entire, this entire area. So what I'm going to do is in the next is I'm going to go through here and in the next video, I'm going to let you guys know what I found. Um, so we found two uncanny items, which is awesome. And uh, like I said, the uncanny and lost weapons can only be found in this, uh, you know, in the root dungeons. It cannot be found in the regular dungeons. Uh, so, as I said, I will be posting these only if I find something interesting. And this one might go up because we found two uncanny weapons. And, uh, you know, this one was, you know, this one we completed within the time frame. And, uh... Uh, we complete it within the time frame, and we did fairly well. Uh, anyway, so I'm also going to go ahead and cut this here, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on doing some exploration uh, for this area, and I'll let you guys know what I find in the next episode. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am uh, I can't wait for the next area. Uh, I'm really excited for the Chalice Dungeons. Uh, I really want to complete these because there is an achievement to uh, for completing them. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Oops. See ya.